Welcome to another episode and in this segment we'll take a look at some of the bad things when it comes to trading weekly options or basically some of the negatives. Uh, I'll mention a few positives as well but this video will concentrate on some of the negatives which are basically the risks that you'll have when dealing with some of the weekly options and things to be aware of. So stay tuned, I'll share with you some details. All right, so a lot of people want to get into weeklies or trading weekly options because you are able to trade very often and very quickly. By the way, we're working on a weekly trading course that's going to come out very soon. You'll be able to check it out on our website, tradersfly.com, probably towards the beginning of 2022. Uh, so right now we're just doing some live classes and we just launched Stock Trading Foundation version two, uh, but we're getting into it uh, maybe, you know, around January, February time. We're, start, we're gonna probably get closer to launching that one. Um, anyway, as we take a look at trading weeklies and you take a look at uh, QQQs here and we pull up the Qs, you'll see there's a lot of options that you could trade and basically you could trade a lot and you can see here I've got some sample positions on all over the place and that makes it really nice when you're trading weekly some stocks they just don't have uh, as many weeklies so here's Fiverr you could see there's just kind of one weekly in there uh, but many stocks uh, even looking at Amazon uh, they do have a lot of weeklies and that allows you to trade just more often and spread out your risk, risk a little bit more now what are some of the downsides and problems with trading weeklies and that's what I want to share with you because these are some of the risks and things you got to think about and consider. All right, so there's two big issues uh, with uh, weeklies, um, at least the ones that I think that are important for you to understand. Number one is the price risk. So for example, if you're looking at trading weeklies on an iron condor, um, your iron condor might look like this or call it this wide. Whereas if you're dealing with uh, the same iron condor at let's say a 10 delta here and a 10 delta here, if we do that 10 delta in another uh, duration, let's say we go 40 days out, that duration might be much wider. So you basically get a lot more room uh, in range for the same probability. So you've got range, which basically means when you're dealing with weeklies, you've got price risk. Now, the good news about this um, is that, yeah, you might have price risk, but the advantage, of course, is you don't have uh, no volatility risk. And why is that the case? Well, if we take a look at doing a weekly and I go oh. hop on over here for a corner for you, um, if we go into something like, uh, let's do Amazon and I do a 10 day trade, and I'll bring this up and we'll do an iron condor. We will aim for, let's do a, uh, let's do a 10 delta over here, roughly. We'll do 30, 50 and uh, 3000. So I'll sell this and then I'll go kind of to that same uh, area on the other side, maybe about a 20 delta, just again, for conversation's sake, we'll go 3350 on this one, it'll be a 20 delta here. Uh, 23 delta and uh, uh, 3400. I'm spreading it out a little bit more because as we move this to another expiration, you'll see what I'm talking about. And that way there's strikes, more likely to have strikes. So I've got this iron condor and you could say, okay, well, we're looking at this iron condor. Um, yes, it's a little lopsided or uneven, uh, but it might do our trick. Let's see, let's move this a little bit. Uh, now this this one let's move it a little bit further out let's try 3420 and uh, 3470 uh, maybe something like that that'll give us a, a decent range okay so now hopefully this will work in the in the future but look what I want you to do is look at this theta and look at this Vega this theta is almost very close to the Vega and what you're seeing here is if I have a Vega problem my theta is very strong and powerful and it can make it up. So I don't really have a big issue with theta anymore, or sorry, with, with the vega because the theta is just so strong. However, from a pricing standpoint, look at this range I have. I've got this range. And now what I'm going to do is do another iron condor here. And what we will do is go in and I'm going to change the duration to November. I want you to look at the credit I receive. Um, in this iron condor. So one iron condor, I'm making this much. The other one, I'm making that much more. Now these are the same strikes. Look at the credit, $25 in credit versus $9 in credit. 
So if I wanted the same credit here, right, as the other one, I'm able to get wider. So this allows me to take this second iron condor and really shift these prices much more. So if I'm looking at kind of that same delta, and I'm just going to kind of uh, rough estimate it, but let's just go again, 50 points out here and 50 points out there. And you can see I'm already getting a lot wider and I can go another 50 points. Okay, so look, look at how wide I can get that iron condor. And then if I go on the call side, the same thing, let's go to uh, something like that. And you can see I'm just getting wider. So what I'm saying is that you've got this range on the weeklies. It's a lot shorter to, uh, range. And on the as you go further out in duration, you can get much wider. And that allows you to uh, basically not worry about the volatility risk. That's a good thing. But the issue is, is you've got price risk. So the big issue with weeklies is the price risk that you have because everything is much tighter there on that side. Okay, so that's one of the big, big risks that people don't understand is when you're trading that shorter duration, you basically have price risk. The other thing that you have with weeklies is imagine you're doing a trade like every five days, if you're doing a weekly like that, or if you're doing a 10 day, uh, you're basically repeating your trades and you've got a lot of trades going on. Now this may not sound like a bad thing, uh, but you are more active, which does add into uh, commissions. It also adds in your time for management. So maybe to manage a, let's just, as a hypothetical idea to manage a 40 day position um, across 40 days, it may take you three hours. Okay. I don't know, depending on if you're looking at charts, you're debating things, that kind of thing. It may take you three hours when it comes to managing weeklies across a month, right? Let's cause this is a month trade across about a month worth of trades. It may take you maybe like six or seven hours. So usually with weeklies, there's much more to do, uh, because you're, you know, you got to put on the trade, you got to set up the trade, you got to uh, close the trade. So for every trade, there's like three to five times uh, more work uh, for every single one of these. Whereas for a 40 day, you know, you just peek on it and you just let it sit. So the amount of trades and the amount of commissions starts to add up and the amount of time for the management side. So that's another huge issue and problem that most people just kind of don't get. Um, and um, it's kind of expected on the commission side. But there's a lot of things you have to keep, you know, keep an eye on. You have to focus on the screen more because you do have a little more of this uh, price risk that, hey, maybe it goes down here. You sell some more uh, put puts, then it snaps up. Maybe you take off the profit on the puts. So you're just managing it a little bit more actively. And um, that might be good, right? Because you're compounding things. That's a nice positive and a good win. But the downside, of course, is there's just takes up more time. It takes up more commissions. Uh, but it allows you to, of course, compound things quicker because of that fast data. Anyways, hope this gives you some ideas for some of the risks involved when it comes to weeklies, at least the, the bigger ones from the pricing standpoint and some of the commissions and the time involved. Yes, you also have a chance of, you know, there's other people that'll talk about stuff like assignment risk. So when you look at this, you you have a greater chance of assignment. Uh, so even though a lot of people are attracted to weeklies because this theta decay curve, Remember, this, so this is your time decay curve that really starts to go down and, and accelerate quickly. So as a seller, when you're selling things, you're allowed to make more uh, theta or premium, but that also means you have an acceleration of risk. So keep that in mind that when you really look at these things, yeah, your theta and time decays quicker, but your risk also increases. And that's something that you have to think about as you're doing these weekly trades. Anyways, I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out on our website or grab some great freebies on the PDFs, checklists, mini e-courses that we have, and some other great uh, courses that we have coming out in the future and live classes. So thanks again, and I hope to see you in the next video or maybe one of the classes. Take care.